Howdy YouTube, or Ray Roberts Lake State Park, wherever you decide to put your lake, uh, it's that's where I are. But I'm at the Aldebo, Aldebo unit, Aldebo, and go ride the Randy Bell Scenic Trail. My fellow Duders, hey, I'm out here at Lake Ray Roberts State Park, or Ray Roberts Lake State Park, wherever you decide to put your lake, uh, it's that's where I are. But I'm at the Aldebo, Aldebo unit, Aldebo. July, it's hot, too hot to sit around, so I'm gonna take Little Red and go ride the Randy Bell Scenic Trail. It's a 2.2 mile trail, so the video's not gonna be too very long, uh, but man, it's beautiful. I've, I've traversed all of it, and I just wanna share it with you. We may see some deer. I have seen so many deer since I have arrived. I've only been here for four hours, and I have seen more deer in this park than any other Texas State Park. It's just such a beautiful trail. If you're here in the Dallas, greater Dallas area, North Texas, You really come, ought to come check out this, check this state park. Especially if you're mobility challenged and you want to get out in nature. crossings most of it though is just out in the wild I don't know who Randy Bell was but he got a beautiful trail named after him. Looking at the park map, now if you're into uh, mountain biking, the, there's the Dobra trails, which I couldn't figure out what that meant until I really started reading the trail map, and that's the Dallas Off-Road Bicycling Association. So they have built a number of trails out here in this cross timbers forest. There's scenic things on this trail. So here we're taking a look at some wetlands. We're talking about real estate and raccoons. As I was getting ready to set up for this shoot, I saw a buck. It looked like he was an eight, six to eight point. 
he, was, he ran across the trail in front of me. I guess bounded is a better word. He jumped. Twenty percent chance of showers today. And since Dude RV is out RVing, it's probably gonna rain. All right, so this one is fire in the cross timbers. I'm gonna talk about a fire being an essential part of nature. And so they do proscribed burns. They do that in just about every Texas State Park. Um, Big one down in the um, oh, what am I? What are you trying to say, man? Come on, spit it out. I can't think of the name of the state park. State park is east of Austin, and they had a big forest fire. Bastard. Maybe Bastard State Park. Anyway, they didn't do prescribed burns down there in the Lost Pines. There's some dope. How cool is that? Oh, here's another sign. The lost down there in the Lost Pines. Um, they didn't do a burn, and boy, they got a burn. All right, so Cross Timbers Crossroads is the intersection of two different ecosystems. The Blackland, the Eastern Cross Timbers, and the Grand Prairie. So when we're talking about cross timbers, that's what we're talking about. It's kind of a crossroads intersection of three different ecosystems. And some of the Dover trails that we just crossed over. That's no throttle. That's all coasting. That oak tree's dying. That's not a good sign. No cars. All right, this one talks about the prairie splendor. The prairies are beautiful. Of course, you gotta watch where you're stepping in them prairies, cause that's where the Diamondback likes to hang out. across the primitive camping parking lot. Oh, that cloud is just beautiful. Blocking out that sun, cooling it down. Strangely enough, there, there's not anybody tent camping down here. Oh, uh, interruption, momentary pause in production. All right. That was Yappy checking on me.
Back on the go. As I was saying, there doesn't seem to be anybody wanting to tent camp in this heat and humidity, strangely enough. Both of the units here at Ray Roberts Lake State Park have extensive concrete trails. Uh, the one on the north side of the lake, Johnson Branch, I think has more trails, more concrete paths. Uh, they, they have this type of scenic loop as well, and I think it's longer. I think it's three miles? Don't quote me on that, please. It's been a while since I was out there. Unlike a lot of Texas state parks or a lot of state parks in general that I've been to, uh, both of the units here at Ray Roberts Lake State Park have enough pathways that you don't need to walk or ride your bicycle on the road. So you can follow this concrete sidewalk until we come to an intersection up here and that will take you to the boat ramp. And then there's another one that will take you to the beach. primitive, I guess. Didn't take us long at all. Even with an interruption. Hey, I appreciate y'all coming along for the ride. If this is your first visit to Dude RV, thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the little ride down the Randy Bell Scenic Trail. I'm honored that you came along with me. And for those of you that have been riding along, hey, man, I really appreciate y'all. If you've not already done so, please click on the subscribe button. I'm very honored when you do that. It's, it's my pleasure to bring you this infotainment. Guess the last thing I got to say is, hey, y'all come back now, you hear?